Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about creating work profiles in Microsoft Intune. To create the profiles, you can go to Microsoft Intune and go to Device Configuration. and the Profile section, Create New Profile and give a meaningful name of whatever the profile you want to select. In our case, we are trying to learn about Android Enterprise and we did uh, created already device specific profiles so far as well as the work profiles section we did already completed device restrictions and email now it's time to configure for wi-fi profile as well as vpn to configure wi-fi a specific profile you can give a specific name uh, a proper name so that uh, this profile gets created with that specific name give here the name as android enterprise work profile Wi-Fi and a meaningful description and coming back to the configuration section which is under settings you have the Wi-Fi type here under Wi-Fi type you have uh, two options one would be the basic and the conf and enterprise in the basic it's going to ask for enter the s uh, service site identifier number that is nothing but SSID here I can enter my SSID as a Redmond Corp office uh, in your case uh, whatever the network uh, Wi-Fi admins gives that information you need to collect this information from your Wi-Fi admins or network admins or who is responsible for uh, creating this Wi-Fi networks and uh, they would be giving you all this information if you request them they would uh, supply the specific information once you have that specific information you can configure you simply have to input here that uh, specific values so in my case uh, I know that in my uh, location the network broadcasting uh, with this name so I'm entering this and also if my device is within that uh, within that SSID uh, range it's going to connect automatically that's what I'm going to choose here and if my SSID is not broad broadcasting you can enable as hidden network so mostly the hidden network uh, option they you know, don't select it because uh, they broadcast all the time now let's jump into the Wi-Fi type uh, it's going to be enterprise when I configure here enterprise it's gonna uh, only the difference is uh, other than the SSID and automatic connect and hidden network only the EAP which is nothing but authentication or extensible authentication protocol type what kind of you know protocol you're gonna use here you need to verify you need to check it uh, for example if you're using the EAP uh, TLC you need to select the root certificate as well as a client authentication uh, certificate these certificates you need to import and uh, you would be you know, getting that specific certificate and also uh, if you choose the uh, TTLS uh, uh, PEP you need to do this similar configuration here and if I choose here uh, specific to TTLS you need to select your uh, root certificate and then followed by username and password these information you would be getting from your network admins uh, what kind of protocol they are using and what kind of certificates they need you need to import that information they would be uh, giving to you similarly PEP uh, PEP also uh, another level of authentication where you can select the root certificate and client authentication with the username or certificates based uh, these configurations once you have configured you can simply choose whatever the configuration in my case for example uh, if I choose as a basic and simply I choose as this example and uh, I can create the specific profile and that would uh, create your Wi-Fi pro wi profile in the work profile and then I can assign for the specific groups uh, by selecting whatever the group I wanted for example I want this specific group to be assigned uh, maybe for my all EMS enabled users example I can simply select that so that the users will uh, appear here under selected and select and save that's going to be assigned for my all EMS enabled uh, users this is how you're going to configure the specific settings thank you for watching this